So we do continue to cover this story that has been developing over the last 12 hours or so. A Florida television news reporter who was shot and killed while reporting at a murder scene in Orlando was identified by his TV station this morning and remembered as, quote, a motivated and talented professional who was living his dream in Orlando. Spectrum News 13 did announce on Thursday that its reporter Dylan Lyons was shot on Wednesday afternoon while at the scene of a shooting in Pine Hills, Florida. Lyons later died at the hospital from his injuries. Now, Jesse Walden, a photographer for News 13, was also shot and does remain in critical condition. Now, our Fox 35 Orlando team has been covering this around the clock, gathering the latest information. I do want to bring in Fox 35 Orlando's Randy Hildreth, who is live uh, with the latest here. Randy, thank you so much for being here. Hey, thank you for having me this morning. Uh, and, and what I can tell you of the very latest about the condition of Jesse Walden, that uh, photo uh, journalist who was shot in that incident yesterday, he's listed in critical condition, but some of his uh, team members over at Spectrum have said that he is responsive. Uh, it's expected that he will undergo additional surgery, but the good news this morning is that it seems that his recovery process uh, is moving in a positive direction. The fact that he is responsive, uh, we are still working to learn more about the condition of uh, a mom who was shot in this series of shootings yesterday. She is also in the hospital this morning. Uh, and based on the latest information that we were provided last night, she was listed in critical condition. And you talked a little bit about Dylan Light. Dylan Lyons, that is the reporter who was shot and killed in this incident. Uh, had worked at the station not very long. He attended the University of Central Florida, which is in the Orlando area, started to work at that station in July of 2022, so had not even been there a year. We did get a chance to talk with uh, one of his former professors who echoed the same sentiments that his teammates said about him at Spectrum, that he is very motivated, he was very motivated and was a light in that classroom, brought a lot to the discussion uh, that they had in, in the learning process to prepare him to enter the field. Now, as you mentioned, uh, in the timeline of this, that news crew was in place in that community, which is about 15 minutes outside of downtown Orlando, to cover a shooting, a deadly shooting that happened earlier that morning. They were shot a little bit after 4 o'clock, and that gunman, who has been identified as Keith Melvin Moses, then walked nearby to a nearby home and shot a 9-year-old and that little girl's mother. And what the sheriff uh, mentioned at yesterday's news conference after all of this unfolded is that that shooter may have been an acquaintance with the uh, woman who was shot early yesterday morning around 11 o'clock. But at this point, it does not appear that he had any connection to that nine year old who was shot, her mother who was shot and this news team. We're still working to learn the names of uh, the woman who was shot her mother, the mother who was shot and that nine year old. Uh, so still a lot of pieces that we're trying to put together with this story, uh, but a lot of heavy hearts as we process what has happened. I'll go ahead and send it back to you. All right, Randy, thank you so much for taking the time to join us here and talk about that. A lot, as you mentioned, left to figure out at this point. So we'll keep in touch with you and bring our viewers the latest information as we do get it. Randy, thank you again for being here. Thank you. All right, and you heard the investigation obviously is still an active one. I do want to pop up right here this tweet that was just posted by the Orange County Sheriff's Office as they have identified the three people who did die here. They say the three people senselessly murdered on February 22nd by Keith Moses are Natasha Augustine, 38 years old, nine-year-old Tiana Major, who was shot in her home. Her mother also shot and did survive there. Uh, Spectrum 13 News reporter Dylan Lyons, 24 years old, also killed, and photographer Jesse Walden was shot and has survived. We are going to continue to follow this and bring you the latest information as we do get it.